Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode 4 of our Timberborn playthrough. If you guys are new to the series, definitely check out some of the older videos. Feel free to leave a like and a comment. Let me know how I'm doing and anything you'd like to see. Check out some of my older series. And then without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into episode 4. Alright, so episode 4 here. We had a pretty busy episode three, dealt with our first bad tide, which unfortunately we did not get our dam completed in time, but it is very nearly completed, so hopefully we will be able to redirect that next bad tide out of there, maintain a little bit of water in here, and, and keep things going. We also started to map out a few uh, pretty significant building projects. We can go into triple speed there. So we're working on damming off this area to provide um, two tiles of water in here, which will be great because as you can see, as this water floods over a little bit, it gives us a little bit more planting area, which is great. So this area and this area here, and that is going to be occupied by our next food source, which is going to be cassava. So that is going to be awesome. It's going to, uh, first of all, it's going to help with our well-being by giving them more food variety. But uh, cassava are a really interesting food because they're the first one. So if we grow one cassava, if we go into our food, the cassava have to be fermented before they can be con consumed. And four cassava actually produce 10 fermented cassava. So it's actually like, it's a really cool food source because it is, it's much different than, you know, with kohlrabi, it's just you grow kohlrabi and they can eat a kohlrabi. It's a, it's a one-to-one. -one. Whereas the cassava gives you the opportunity to actually, uh, I actually don't think they can pick those up. So why don't we just delete those so that it's nice and clean. Um, cassava actually gives you the ability to essentially produce more food than like your growable area would necessarily allow, which I think is pretty interesting. Why don't we get a path there? I'm not sure what we're going to put up here. Uh, maybe a boatload of storage at some point probably some farms for the uh, cassava but I just like that path there and then I'm probably do I want a path like cutting straight through here I don't know I kind of want to start to save up a lot of this space so if we were to grab like double platforms and we were to run series of platforms over here and then connect them up here we could get a path on here like that and that would actually make that a much shorter route which i think would be interesting that's a ton of planks that is uh let's just say that that is not at all a priority not at all that's just a future future plan give us a little bit more building space and then eventually I actually kind of want to fill like this whole river with platforms and put like industrial build I don't know industrial buildings who knows I just think it would be cool for those of you who've seen my previous Timberborn series you guys kind of know that I like to build things pretty compact um I just think that it makes it a little bit more interesting rather than just kind of sprawling all over the place which is kind of why I, I really like building like housing complexes kind of vertically Speaking of housing complexes, we actually need to get our last two medical beds in here. So I think they're in well-being. Yeah, medical beds. So let's get uh, two of those in there. And then I think... Isn't there something that produces, like, medicine? Decontamination pod? No. So there's no medicine for the iron teeth. But that's okay. So I'm actually going to delete that. That uh, right there. I'm going to put another medical bed in here. And then we're actually going to put a shrub here. Just to kind of delineate that this is the this is the medical area. You know? And in fact... Maybe we'll just put a bunch of shrubs there. You know? So that everything looks nice. And that should help people... Should help the beavers heal. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that uh, if that makes any sense, but either way. All right, cool. So they got this dam built. They're starting to work on the other section. That's not really a, uh, a priority of mine. So 
So why don't we start to get this dam finished? I would love to get that finished before this drought makes its way down to us. Um, I kind of don't think that it will get finished in time. So why don't we get all of this? This is kind of our next priority, I guess. I mean, it's not... In terms of, like, I'll leave it at medium-high priority. That way, if we if we kind of map anything else out that we want to do first, um, we, can, we can shift it kind of up and down, if that makes sense. And why don't we actually... How high can we raise these? We can raise them to a half, I think, without just dumping the water off the side. So might as well kind of store a little bit of extra water. And then, unfortunately, yeah, this is... This is going to drain out. Not all the way. We did get one levy in. I don't think we're going to get it, get the last one in. So we just just missed this drought. Um, just by a little bit. But that's okay. But see, this is nice now. So this is going to end up storing a ton of water. Um, which is really going to be great, I think. Long, long term. And let's see. Okay, so... They're working on this. Uh, they do not have a path, actually, to get there. So might as well go ahead and put that in. So that they can actually get down to this and start building it. But we did get this dam built, which is great. And then this is kind of my funnel power system. For those of you who saw the last episode, I don't know if this is going to work. But the idea is that we're essentially funneling what will be five tiles worth of flow down into a two tile space, hopefully dramatically increasing the speed of the water, which will lead to more power. Um, I don't know if that's how this works in this game, but I'm excited um, to kind of test it nonetheless. So we are gonna come in here. I do want them to get rid of all of this because this is going to be an area that we plant. So let's just have them get rid of that. Um, don't really think it needs to be on high priority. You know, maybe we'll put it on like medium, medium high priority so that they can work on it. I do want them to finish that dam though. I think that would be good. We can get some builders over there. We should have eight builders. Correct. We do. All right. So getting this area kind of set up for farming is kind of the main project of the day. We're really good on water. Oh, speaking of water, we are in a drought, so I'm going to pause all four, all five of those. Yikes, we just pumped down a lot of water. Maybe I'll let some water out over here, just to kind of make up for that. I don't know if we're going to get enough on this, uh, on this run to actually make up for it, but we'll see. And then I might as well just bring these up to max level for now. But okay. So we got a little bit of water down here. Uh, it doesn't really look like it overflowed at all, but that's, that's okay. Maybe a little bit. But, um, so we're going in here. They're actually starting to work on this, which is great. Um, we're going to need to set up some farms. So I think we're going to kind of do a similar setup to last time. So we're going to do two warehouses like this with a path and then I might throw in just a scratcher right there and then if we put a platform there that'll get us two yeah and then I think if we put a platform there maybe another scratcher I don't think I really need like a grindstone or anything down here decontamination pod we're not quite there yet um yeah let's put in another i guess another scratcher i don't know what else do we have exercise plaza swimming pool wind tunnel motivatorium motivatorium love it okay um you know what we're just we're not gonna put anything right there but we are going to put a little staircase coming down here and then there's going to be Something like that. And then I guess we could probably fit like a shrub and a lantern 
in there. So why don't we get... This is dumb, but I want to get that built before I completely bury it in uh, other stuff. But this is cool. So they're starting to build this. I am, I am genuinely excited to see if this works. And the funny thing is, like, we have no plan for the power yet. But I just want to see if it generates power. Because if it doesn't, we're going to have to kind of rethink, like, our whole setup of, like, where we want to put our industrial area, um, where we want to put, like, some of our food processing. There's a lot of stuff that's going to go into... It's going to be contingent on whether this generates a ton of power, which I think it... I mean, so these can generate 270 each. So, put it this way. If this works, we could kind of continue to snake this down this path, adding more and more water wheels, and generate a pretty significant amount of power. So this is kind of like the test subject, if you want to think about it like that. Either way. Alright, so we're going to need a couple farmhouses here. And I, I do think that three is generally the way to go with these with these farmhouses. And I do think, let's see if we connect these with a path. Do I need stairs on the other side? I kind of, I don't really think so. Because I don't really see how it would really advantage us getting over here. And I don't really care about getting over this way. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't care about getting over here. So I think one set of stairs is actually going to be just fine for this. So these are going to be high priority, focused on cassava. High priority. The middle one, focused on harvesting. All on high priority. So that's going to be for the cassava. So let's map out just a ton of cassava right there. And they can start to, you know gather it as they go and we are getting water flow which is great our dam is open so that water should flow down here relatively quickly and why don't we get just like one farmer going and one storage area so that we can kind of start to uh get some cassava planted and and you know stored up i think that'll be good i do think that that will be good All right, so we're working on this. This is great. I actually don't know, what are the resources required for this? Yeah, planks and logs. So many planks, so many. All right, so why don't we continue to kind of expand our small industrial area? Um, I might get one more storage for logs and then a couple more small warehouses so this will be for and this is this is temporary this is just this is just temporary um not warehouses i will get one more for gears um i do think it's good to get some more gears but these will actually be piles for planks there we go and why don't we get all of those built so that we can start to stockpile um more of these resources as we go. Because we're actually starting to do fairly good on wood. Um, we have a decent wood supply. Um, I am tempted to actually add another log storage. Maybe like right here. So if we were to add another log storage. Like right in here. Like that. For logs. I think that would that would work and now we've got a, a ton of excess storage here for the various goods that they produce so we should start to stockpile a fair quantity over here i mean not a huge quantity but a, a pretty a pretty decent quantity it should constantly give eight builders access to the materials that they need um which will be good And then yeah, it doesn't really look like they're going to come up here. So I wonder if we should open up a couple more log cutters. We might have too many log cutters for this area. I kind of, I tend to, I tend to think that we do, um, but that's okay. It's okay for now. 
All right, so now this whole area is green. This is going to be for raw cassava, as will this. So those will be raw cassava, and then we'll kind of do a similar setup up here as we have here. So a couple farmhouses, um, some storage for raw cassava, and then this whole little area will be raw cassava, um, which will be good. That'll give us a, a pretty good stockpile of the raw resource, and then... Again, ideally, if this works, ideally what we're going to do is set up a small little processing area right here. That's kind of what these platforms were starting to be. But I kind of wanted to wait and see if this was actually going to generate enough power before I put that in. Um, but that's essentially going to generate, or it's going to generate the power for the fermenters, because we go into our food, the fermenters require 50 horsepower each. Um, and ideally I'd like to have like three or four, probably. Um, I could probably get away with two, but I generally like to overdo things. Um, as you can tell by me having five water pumps. I think only four of which we're gonna have working right now and we'll see how we do with water. So. About 315 when we when we started that up. So we'll see how that we'll see how that goes. But okay, so this is generating a ton of power. What was this power? Oh, per cubic meter per second. Oh, so this is gonna generate I mean in theory. This is going to generate a ton of power. Like, theoretically. Again, I'm not really sure, like, how this is really going to work, but I kind of want to get that section done first to see if we can start to get some of the, uh, the channeling that I'm talking about. So we'll see. But okay, so we'll get that done first, and then I kind of also want to get, like this section done first or next might as well kind of get that done so that we can actually start to bring some of this power up here so let's see if we get power going like this right so that'll kind of bring it up i need to bring it over here actually why don't we design this area first um before we start on the uh So let's put something in like that. I am gonna make this low, super low priority. I don't want them to start building this until we kind of have it set up. So we could get one, get one and two, and then three, but then to get the fourth, we would need to occupy this space. So maybe it actually makes more sense to shift it out one more. Two, three, Four. Yeah, so we could do one, two, three, four, like that. And then I guess this area could be like a shrub and a light. <laughs> Something like that. But okay, so then we're going to need a couple platforms like this. So this is, this is where our power is going to come in. Because our power is going to need to connect to all of these. Um, and unfortunately, this path might have to move in order to get the uh, the power in here effectively. Let's kind of see. Is there a way that we could like bring this power around? Like over this dirty water? I mean, potentially there is, actually. So if we did... Something like this. Can they build all of these? Yeah, it looks like they can, actually. Alright, so why don't we do it this way? So, if we get rid of this, and then we connect these up. The question is, can they build them from up top, or do they need to come across this way? Hmm. 
Not sure. Unsure. But anyway, so the power's going to kind of work its way up along this bad water area until it gets to here where we're going to need to go I'm thinking up and over so if we go up and then a couple platforms like this and then the power goes straight and then turns. Why don't we build these platforms so that we can actually shift this path over? Because we need a spot to essentially jump. Oh, see, that's not going to work. Let me think. So we would have to go up again and then turn. So this would have to go here. And then turn. The question is, can I use a double platform here? Like, if I build a double platform, will they be able to... They can build the platform, but I'm just not sure if they'll be able to build the... This corner piece. Let's see. I'll prioritize that. Might as well. Just prioritize everything. You know? Like, if everything is prioritized, then everything just gets done faster. Isn't that the rule? Isn't, isn't that what makes sense? Just trying to give them a little bit more opportunity to reach all these for when the time comes. Because this is... I'm just not sure if they'll be able to reach this um, from here. We'll have to see. Because I might have to do some some editing. All right, so it does look like we are going to be able to funnel this much water through this channel. It should work. Should be tall enough, and and you know all that. Um. So I am very interested to see how this works. But okay, how are we doing with four pumps? We are going up, so I think that's okay. I think what we'll do is, like, if we're not maxed out on water by the time the next drought notification shows up, we will uh, we'll go ahead, we'll open up that last pump and, and just kind of get as much, as much water going as we can. Oh, okay, cool, that worked. Sweet. All right, so let's get rid of this path here. We might as well go ahead and get a nice decorative area right here. But then we are going to need to jump over and then come down. So that's going to be there. And then this is going to be a triple and a triple and a corner. We're going to need paths coming in like this. And we're going to need to add power shafts in here. Although I'm not going to add these connections until they get all this built. Because otherwise they won't have a way to uh, actually build these if they don't do it correctly. So why don't we get all of this back to just kind of medium priority for now. Cool. So that's going to be good. I'm also going to go ahead and just fill this area in with platforms. Give us a nice area to uh, to build some stuff. Not sure what, but uh, just stuff, you know? And let's see. Am I going to want to get some stairs back here? This is actually like a pretty nice area to get some stairs up. Potentially. Potentially I will. Um, unsure at this point, but I might... I might just go ahead and kind of reserve the right... So like if I throw some stairs there, I'm not sure where it's going to go. And then obviously, like some shrubs there. Obviously, got to get shrubs whenever possible. And what I really need to start thinking about is filling in like these useless areas with shrubs. Although maybe they're not useless because this is where our stairs are going to go. So just this useless area right there. 
But okay, so we have this area now. We're going to need to get somewhere to store the fermented cassava. And I could just do a couple warehouses like right here. Like that. That should be okay. So why don't we get these for fermented cassava? Like that. And then I'm actually going to come in and throw some 2 by 3 roofs on here. Just to make them look nice, you know? Everyone likes a good roof. And you know, I'm just kind of thinking, like, do I want some roofs over here, too? Probably. I mean, we got a ton of space over here, so I'm not overly concerned about building vertically over here. In fact, I don't really imagine us much expanding this way, just because this is the edge of the map. I imagine most of our expansion is going to be coming up this way. Alright, so we do have a drought approaching, so I think we will get that last water pump up and running. And we do have uh, a fair number of haulers, and all of these are prioritized by said haulers. So we are doing pretty good um, where that is concerned. And let's see now. So we are funneling. Yes, so we are getting a ton more power. Yeah, so this is, this is going to work, I think. I mean... Could be a complete, complete fail, but I hope not. That would be unfortunate. And that is too far from a district for them to build it. This one is not. None of these are. This one is. Interesting. Okay, so I think what we're going to have to do then... Because all of this should be buildable. Yeah, this is all buildable. So I think what we're going to have to do is just throw a temporary platform in there. And then run a path over here to get that built. You know what I mean? And then just delete the path, delete this one platform, and then start to uh, run the power. But okay, why don't we start to actually get this power um, system up and running. So why don't we put all of this as the highest of priorities so that we can actually get this, this stuff going. Because I think we're generating, yeah, we're generating plenty of power to run for um, cassava fermenters. You know what I mean? Just pl plenty of power in order to do that. And then what I think we'll also do is we'll just make one of these moderately high and then I think we'll do like all of this moderately high as well so we can get at least one fermenter up and running because we are starting to get a some cassava stored up so I would like to start to get that produced which is cool um, very cool in fact very cool okay so what do we got going on? So we, we're working on the power. We're working on the cassava stuff. Um, another project, while they go on and build this, and this is just going to take tons of wood and tons of planks, but they, they should have everything they need to get this built. And okay, so they're starting to build it from over here, which tells me that we are good to start to lay out this... Uh, this power. Let's see, we're gonna need a corner there, corner there, there, there. Straight, straight, and then straight. And then I, I think that they can build this from up here. If I am not mistaken. Is this true? Yeah. That is true. So why don't we add all of this to the high building priority. So again, we're just focusing on getting this power built. And then they will come back and kind of continue to work on some of the other stuff. We do have a drought started. It is seven days, which is pretty extreme. 
So why don't we start to, uh, see, no, there's no point. There's no point, because this dam's not done yet. So we'll start to store a little bit of water. Just a little bit. And then, with an, with a seven-day drought, I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to have to turn those water pumps on. At some point. At some point. But I think what we could probably do is start to get a couple more water tanks in here. And I would actually like to empty this just because I really want to rotate it so that it matches these three. And I know that that is like seriously not the priority, um, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> I mean, it, it's not going to affect like how much overall water we have at all. Um, so we can go ahead and do that. Let's get this stuff picked up. Super high priority. And then we'll put that there. So that it matches. Um, and then... There's really no point in putting that on maximum priority yet. I do want to get this stuff built. And that's still out of reach. But once they get this platform built, it should be in range. And then we can kind of start to... Uh, is that in range? Yes, it is. Okay, so once they get that built, we can then delete this path, and then we should be able to add in all of our power stuff, and they should be able to build it from top down, which is what we want. Certainly what we want. And we can start to get our fermented cassavas up and running. We do have 161 cassava, which is pretty good. Although I think we could probably do with getting another uh, farmer and another storage up and running. So let's see, he's gonna get that built or not, or not. He's just gonna, he's gonna put the material there and then immediately walk away, um, which is exactly what we want. He's going to get that built, which is perfect. Okay, so let's delete this path. Um, and then we're actually going to delete this platform. And then we can delete that because there's nowhere to store those resources. And now this is going to be here. And then we should be able to get away with building all of this from above. does appear like that is the case. So we'll make all of that maximum priority, and then we can get our, our cassava production operational. Obviously, it will be contingent on water flow. It will be contingent on water flow. So that is one thing that we need to keep in mind. Um, and it might be beneficial to add one of these large power wheels over here, specifically for drought periods. So we can have it, we can only have it operational during the drought. Essentially, like, you know, think of it like the people who would normally be pumping the water during a drought, they go over and they work on the, uh, the power wheel. So, you know, gotta, gotta share the load, obviously. But okay. And actually, I was looking at this dam earlier, and later on, once we are kind of more solidified, we can actually raise this whole thing up one level by blocking off, put a little dam there, a little dam here, and then essentially raising this whole thing up one more level. And that would give us a whole nother tile of water stored, you know, way back. So pretty significant amount of water when you really think about it. Okay, cool. So they're working on all of this stuff. They're getting the, uh, the power. Let's see, actually all of the power stuff is placed. That is huge. Well, except for those two, but that's okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to shift priorities to get this fermenter built because we are going to have the power and then this storage built, which should be good. That should give us a pretty decent amount. Um, and then what I'm actually probably going to do is let's, do I want to delete this? 
Yes, I do think I want to delete this. Let's delete that, and you'll kind of see why. I'm going to put in a triple here, um, and then bring some power around this way so that I can get my, uh, my large power wheel kind of in here somewhere. Somewhere that makes sense. Maybe like this. Just so that we can get you know, some level of power going in here during the droughts. So let's get a one of those. Um, and then I think we are going to need to be semi-strategic with this. And then this is going to be fermented cassavas. It is going to be maximum priority, but not yet. Just because we don't have the power set up, you know, we don't, we're just not, we're not ready for it yet. But okay. And then I do think that this is going, we're going to wait on this, but this will be enough of a reminder um, for what I want to get done um, later on. Okay, cool. So this is coming along nicely. Uh, we're doing pretty good with water, um, although I do think that we need to get another water tank built so that by the time the next drought comes, we do have just that much more water stored. Because we did have a little bit a little bit more than three full containers um, when this drought started, I believe, if if my memory is uh, correct. So I think it would be good to get one of these built. We do have all the resources for it, um, planks and gears, and there's even a bunch of resources here on the ground that are just waiting for storage. So hopefully they'll come over and pick these up as the storage opens up. And in fact, I might just go ahead and pause all these so that we start to deplete our supply just to make sure these get picked up. I mean, gears and planks are pretty valuable. Not so much planks, but gears are, are fairly, um, fairly valuable. And why don't we get, let's prioritize these other two. Because again, we have the resources for them. So I don't really see a reason why we, why we shouldn't prioritize these. So let's get those those spun up. Uh, we are about to get more water, which is good. Kind of like to leave these at half or yeah, at 0.5. Should work without overflowing water. I'll just put it down. It's not that much water and we don't really have a use for it anyway um, currently, but this drought is coming to an end, which is going to be good. So I think in preparation for that, we unpause all of our water pumps. Why is this saying no storage available? Yeah, there is storage available. Come pick those up, perfect. And then we can actually get these going again. All right, so we have a ton of water storage. We got all of our pumps going, so hopefully we can fill up a decent amount of those. Um, and then what we need to do is once this water comes down, we need to get the uh, fermented cassavas going and start to get some of those produced. Because we have, we are maxed out on cassavas. And the water is still making its way down. Let's check our priorities. So they're back working down here. So I'd like to get um, another storage, all of this built. Let's get all that built. So more storage, more farmers for the cassava, and that way we are, uh, we're just doing that much better with everything that we got going on food-wise. Water, surprisingly, uh, not doing well. I mean, our beaver population is steadily increasing. We do have five pods operational right now, which may be slightly aggressive, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's terribly aggressive. You know what I mean? I don't think it's horrible. But that is yet to be seen. Okay. So we are getting this stuff built. Excellent. Oh, they got the uh, the scratcher built. I wonder how popular these are. Yeah, they're actually pretty popular. Let's check. If we go into our well-being um, and we come down to... I can't remember 
Oh, fun. Yeah, scratchers. So about half of our population uses the scratchers. Which is pretty good. We'll have to see. There we go. Oh, we missed it. wonder if we're going to catch a beaver using the scratcher. I wonder. No, it doesn't look like it. No beavers using the scratcher. Nobody likes it. What a waste. But okay. So now we've got uh, more beavers farming. We've got more cassava storage, which is perfect. Um, and then... What else did I prioritize? Yeah, this stuff right here. Getting more... More storage for the fermented cassava. Um, and I don't believe we've actually produced any fermented cassava yet. Because I don't think we've had enough power to do so. But now... We've got tons of power. 1,500 power from one wheel. That's actually huge. That is huge. That is a huge amount of power. That's awesome. I'm stoked. Absolutely stoked. Um, and I think once they get this stuff built, why don't we start up on the other, on a second fermenter, we can come in here. This will be high priority and fermented cassava. Actually, all of these will be high priority fermented cassava. Look at that. We are starting to get tons of fermented cassava going, which is great. And that should boost the uh, the well-being. So if we pause and we go into a beaver now. Yeah, so this guy's just eating kohlrabi still. So if we come in here to our well-being, you can actually see it just ticked up from eight. So yeah, 47 out of 59 beavers are now eating fermented cassava as part of their diet. So that is huge. That is awesome. That is awesome. And let's just continue to make sure that all of these are marked. And you know what? High priority. Get rid of those. Get rid of those. That is, that is the priority now. Totally not necessary, pretty useless, um, but that's okay. That is okay. So now, I wonder, if I were to put a farmhouse in right here, can they reach the end? Yes, they can. What if I put it in here? No, they can't. Okay. So I wonder, If I put in three, like here, let's see. So this is kind of what I'm thinking. So if I do something like this and we get three farmers like this, set of stairs coming down, can these reach? Yes, they can. Okay, cool. So that'll be our farmer setup for over here. We will get a shrub right there. Perfect. Um, and then we will go ahead and get some storage in here. So this will be medium warehouse, medium warehouse for regular cassava. And then these will be focused on cassava in the same way. One focused on harvesting, the other two focused on planting. Perfect. And then we can actually just go ahead and get rid of this path. And get rid of this path. Although I actually, I do like to keep a path here just so that the gate stays open. Um, because if you, if you get rid of it as it closed and they can still run across and it just kind of annoys me, so. I will sacrifice a single patch of growing area um, to get a little bit more. To get a little bit more. Oh, see, and then this actually, this should be our triple. So let's get rid of these. Just because I don't really plan on building those immediately. So this will be a triple. That will be a single. Let's get that built. Maximum priority, obviously. And then once we get this second uh, cassava thing up and running, um, we are probably going to end the episode because we are just about at our at our time limit. So let's get this 
operational. And then we'll probably call it a day. And then we should start to get a pretty good amount of cassava going. Although we do need to grow more cassava. So this is going to be a priority um, for the next episode, getting this operational. And then we're probably going to need a good way for them to actually get the cassava over here. So we're probably going to need to do something like this and make this section moderately high priority just so that they can actually get the cassava over here. If that makes sense. Because otherwise, these cassava operators would have to run all the way around up here to actually get it. And that would significantly cut in to their working day. Okay, go ahead and put a... Probably a shrub in here. Obviously. But okay. So we're getting cassavas going. We have a fair stockpile of cassavas, which is good. Um, and we are getting them produced... 10 every two hours, so five an hour of the edible cassavas, which is awesome. Let's see how we're doing. Yep, all of our beavers are eating them. Perfect. In the next episode, we are going to continue to get our food production going, work out our power program a little bit more, take a small uh, divergent step to expand our housing, just because we are starting to have homeless beavers, which is unacceptable in this modern society. Um, and expand our wood production. So we got a lot of stuff going in the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please consider leaving a like and a comment and please subscribe to the channel. It takes you just one click to go ahead and subscribe. It really helps me out with uh, getting the videos out there for more people to see them. I do hope that everyone's enjoying the content and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. Thanks. Bye.